have observed and have become totally convinced that there are just two kinds of people in this world and that the lives of these two kinds of people are as different as they is tonight. Only two kinds, not more. There are various trials and tribulations in this world, but only two kinds of people. There are various levels of poverty, but only two kinds of people. There are various forms of sickness and disease, but only two kinds of people. You put the two groups under exactly the same difficulty and they react in totally different ways. It's amazing. Whatever situation you might be facing now, you are either hopeful or hopeless about it. These are the two kinds of people that I have been referring to. One kind is of the hopeful and the other is of the hopeless with reference to a specific challenge that they might be facing in their lives. You are either hopeful or hopeless about your current situation. There's no borderline position on this. Some people are hopeful sometimes and hopeless the rest of the times. They switch groups now and then, which most people tend to be of this category depending on their circumstances and I myself am included in this I tend to be hopeless sometimes but for the majority of the time I would say I am hopeful the hopeful hopeful the hopelessness people tend to have more depression and more anxiety and more stress than those people who who remain hopeful a snapshot of society at any point in time will reveal these two kinds of people, the hopeful and the hopeless. But what is hope? The Random House College Dictionary defines hope as the feeling that what is desired is also possible, or that events may turn out for the best, to look forward to with desire and reasonable confidence, to believe or desire or trust. So in hope, one has the feeling that what they desire is also possible or that events may turn out for the best. In hopelessness, one has the feeling that what they desire is impossible or that events may turn out for the worst. I just cannot try to visualize the status of the hopeless. Hopelessness is a dead end. What will one go on to do if they have the feeling that what they desire is impossible and that events may turn out for the worse? Can such people find the fire of life or true happiness if they remain hopeless? The hopeful look forward in confidence. The hopeless remain in the dungeon of pessimism. Let me give you some of the characteristics of hope. First, hope is not passive, it's active and it's energetic. Some people think that to be hopeful is the same thing as sitting down on a doorstep, staring at the horizon, and waiting for something to happen. To me, that's not hoping at all. It's idleness. You surely need a good mindset and a strong mindset and that if you just sit and wait, then you're doing nothing. If I see somebody sitting down looking sullen, I would think that something would be wrong with them. Hope is always active. It is not wasting time sitting on the doorstep. If you hope for something, you don't sit and wait for it to manifest or happen. Rather, in your hope, you bring it into manifestation and you make it happen. Real hope is a turbocharged motivational force. If it doesn't drive you, then it's not hope. It's totally it's something totally different. Second, hope never relents. It never surrenders. The hopeful persevere. That's the power of hope. The hopeless never persevere, and some of them never even attempt to sing. They simply do not have the energy to try. If you are hopeful, it means you have the feeling that what you desire is possible. Now that's the true meaning of positive thinking.
It means that you have a reasonable expectation regarding what you look forward to. This hope then drives you into working towards that which you hope for. Third, hope does not disappoint unless it's the sitting down and waiting type. What problems are you facing right now? What difficulties? What ailments? What level of poverty? The impact of these circumstances on your life will depend on whether you are hopeful or hopeless about them. Mark my words, hopelessness is a killer. It kills the spirit first, then the body follows. So from today, make a deliberate choice to always be hopeful. You've got to learn to look beyond your circumstances.